Hello everyone, welcome to Unit 9, The Civil Rights Movement. This unit begins in the early 1900s and ends in the early 1970s. Let's get started. So before we begin this unit overview, ask yourself the question, what do you already know about this topic? Better yet, ask yourself, where or how did I learn about this? because you've probably heard something about this topic already. So this overview begins with <clears throat> a bit of background and historical context. In other words, we're gonna learn what is this unit about? This unit begins with lessons about the early civil rights movement that begins in the end of the Civil War and two ideas that are important here are the role of lawmakers, the Congress, and the justices of the Supreme Court. These branches of the government helped African Americans in other decades like the 1950s secure their civil rights. In this unit, you will also learn about the roles of leaders like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., but also the roles of other leaders like Rosa Parks and Cesar Chavez. We will analyze some of the writings and some of the speeches from Dr. King as well. One misconception that students often have is that they believe that the movement was exclusively about African Americans. Instead, think of this movement as a larger movement involving people like, Afri like Mexican Americans, American Indians, and even women. So think of these smaller movements within the larger civil rights movement. One major part of this unit is the role of President Lyndon Johnson, pictured here. Through his Great Society programs, like Head Start and Free Lunch, our country worked hard toward achieving equality and opportunity for all Americans. This unit also discusses the role of opposers, people who were against the movement, like the segregationist governor of Alabama, George Wallace. We will also examine the role of the Democratic Party in opposing the movement and opposing the leaders of the civil rights movement. Finally, this unit explores the role of the Supreme Court and the U.S. Constitution. These two had an important role in securing the gains of the civil rights movement. We'll learn about justices on the Supreme Court like Thurgood Marshall, and we'll learn about the impact that these justices had on the civil rights movement. I hope you learned something new today.